British farming is scuppered, you know. All because the farmers didn't like the... Uh, well, the EU's a common agricultural policy. The same common agricultural policy that would be saving them right now. First they had post-Brexit woes regarding the Australian trade deal. Then the New Zealand trade deal. And now Mexico is concerning uh, the British farmers. As the UK minister confirms, uh, well, beef could be imported from Mexico. Well, farming groups, they say, allowing high-carbon meat to enter the United Kingdom could, well, undermine the domestic beef sector and also harm the environment. Yes, we're offshoring more carbon. Obviously, their biggest concern is uh, being undercut by cheap, low-quality meat imports. Yes, they've been run out of business. Even George Useless said his deal was crap. You know, the Australian deal. Didn't he? Isn't that weird? You've got George Useless saying that his deal that he negotiated or helped to negotiate uh, was rubbish. And then you've got um, the other numpty. What was his name again? Oh, yeah, Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson, previous Prime Minister. And it's Northern Ireland Protocol. Yeah, he said it was great. And now he said it's crap. And you're like, oh, yeah, please boot the old like button. And there will be a secret word at the end of this video. Well, additionally... Investigations have found that the livestock sector in Mexico is plagued, it is, yeah, with tropical deforestation. And the National Farmers Union president, Minette Batty Batters, yeah, yeah, crikey. I have to admit, she's pulling the weight at the moment, but prior to the Brexit vote, when a whole load of numpty farmers put the cross in the wrong box that they did, well, she was neutral until like, the last minute. She said, oh, maybe... You should vote against Brexit at the last minute. But now she has her work cut out, she does. Trying to save the British farming. Well, she says, I'm very concerned about the links to deforestation. From our Mexico lines are, well, pretty tough on this. Having given away so much to Australia and New Zealand. <laughs> we don't want to see further imports of beef. No. Well... Rob Rose, a regenerative beef farmer from Rosewood Farm in Yorkshire, he said, I can see no justification for importing any beef into the United Kingdom. It certainly won't help uh, UK farmers or food securities, let alone the standards. Well, the price of imported beef is lower. And that's, well, than what we can actually produce in the United Kingdom. Because we have standards, you see. They don't have very good standards in Mexico, no. No. They'll come with. Well, lodgers not paying their rent, they will. Probably maggots. Yeah. Anyway, Dustin Benton, the Green Alliance Policy Director, added... <laughs> sorry, I just added that. Anyway, added, Mexican beef is somewhat more carbon intensive than UK beef. So it doesn't make any sense to undermine British producers with higher carbon imports. No. Well... But the government's latest attempts to woo farmers with post-Brexit tentacles delivered by the hut uh, Teresa Kofi. Hmm. The same farmers that are facing severe hardship owing to uh, high brexit fueled inflation and the 50% increase in costs of imports. Or inputs, I do apologise. Look to destined to fall flat on its face. But many farmers are concerned that they are losing out in this Brexit transition that they voted for, let's be honest, yeah. It's Nidisi. Well, Batty Batters, she warned uh, the government the cock is ticking. She must have stole that from Michelle Barney, I reckon. Well, the time is nearly up for the government to uh, demonstrate its commitment to food and farming in our great country, she says. Not just by saying they support us, but actually showing that they, well, actually do. Actions speak louder than words, you know. Our tiny PM, Richie Sunak, has chosen not to attend the uh, annual National Farmers Union Conference, the NFU, in Birmingham this year. Well, I think that was last Monday. Well, huddled in his bunker, that he is. He sends a message, a pre-recorded message. Or was it a telegram? I don't know. 
probably went something like this. Labour wanted to give the funding to the farmers, but we stopped it. And we gave it to our cronies instead, probably. Well, like I said, there is a secret word that's at the end of this video. Yeah, seriously, there is. Yeah. And the word of today is twit. Because Theresa Kofi is a twit. Actually, the entire Tory government is twits. That they are. I'm sorry, it's Theresa Kofi. She blocked me on Twitter. So today's secret word is twit. Twit, twit. <laughs> anyway, don't forget the old, the old like button. And, it, and also, and you can support us on Patreon or buy us a coffee in the links down below. In the description, if you've got this fun video, that is. Um, but also, we are planting a thousand trees on two hectares of land here in France, for which you'll be a part of that. And there's a GoFundMe link down in just the description. And um, basically, we'll put a sign, you know, put a sign up with that tree of yours. And um, yeah, it could be, you know, be your name or memory or somebody if you like. So there you go. Oh, it's time for me to go because I've got to take the doctors. Take the doctors. I've got to take the missus to the doctors, you know, just for a checkup. Yeah, she had a blood test, you see. Oh, okay. Ta ta. Don't forget. The secret word of the day is twit.